Hey guys, look at these grey powders. The first glass has magnesium silicide, and the second one has calcium disilicide. And here is some hydrochloric acid. At first, these substances look like they should act the same, but they don't. If I add hydrochloric acid to magnesium silicide, it makes a quick flash of flammable silane gas. But if I add the same acid to calcium disilicide, there is no flash. Instead of silane, it just releases some hydrogen, which is not very active. Still, the green stuff we get from this reaction is really cool. And you probably didn't know about it. It's called a siloxin. Let's synthesize it. Calcium disilicide is the only thing you can start with to make siloxin. Almost all chemical articles say you should do this in the dark, so I kept adding calcium disilicide to the acid with the lights off. Also, the temperature shouldn't go above 50 degrees Celsius, so we need to cool the mixture. After adding all the calcium disilicide and waiting for the reaction to finish, I filtered the powder and put it in a desiccator. Look at this powder, it's dry siloxin. Mine turned out green, though some sources say it can be yellow or golden. It probably depends on how you make it, but I only tried it once and it was green. Weirdly, siloxin is very flammable. It catches fire easily and burns smoothly. After burning, I got this orange-brown powder. If you put it on a hot plate, it will light up around 160 degrees Celsius. Even crazier, siloxin can catch fire with ozone gas. If you blow the native oxygen onto siloxin, it lights up almost immediately. This is what it looks like when I sprinkle siloxin into a flask with ozone. Siloxin also ignites on its own in a chlorine atmosphere. Now let's see how it reacts with strong acids. With concentrated sulfuric acid, nothing happens. But one drop of concentrated nitric acid makes it ignite instantly. Really spectacular! Perchloric acid of the same concentration doesn't do anything. Since the nitric acid reaction looked so cool, I tried it with fuming nitric acid and a bit more siloxine. Thank you. 
Let's watch it in slow motion. Remember, nothing happened with sulfuric acid, but one drop of selenic acid made a huge reaction. I was also working with xenon difluoride for my new video while filming, so I tried it with siloxane too. I put some xenon difluoride on a watch glass and added siloxane, and of course, it lit up right away. Xenon difluoride is super interesting, so subscribe to the channel to see the full video about it. One important thing about siloxane. It glows brightly for a short time in acidic solutions if some metals are present, especially transition metals. In my backstage experiments, the best glow happened with cerium ions 4+. Here I made an acidic solution of ammonium cerium sulfate. Now I'll add siloxane powder in the dark. Look at that! This glowing property is sometimes used in analytical chemistry. The same glow happens if you add ammonium serum sulfate to a siloxane suspension in hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching, guys! I hope you enjoyed this video and demonstration of xenon difluoride. Don't forget to leave a comment below, and if you want to support my work, you can become my patron. Huge thanks to everyone who's already supporting me! I really appreciate it! See you in the next video!